Hello guys and welcome to Liftoff, your first place where you find everything space and often SpaceX. SpaceX and Blue Origin have been competing with each other for many spacecraft and commercial contracts. Both the companies are developing their next generation rocket, but SpaceX is the leading space company that has made many rocket engines since its launch in 2002. A few months ago, SpaceX completed its 100th Raptor engine. This extraordinary milestone was achieved in just 29 months, a little over two years. Blue Origin's rocket engines development started, work on the BE-4 engine since 2011. Importantly, they said the BE-4 would be ready for flight by 2017, but at this very moment, Blue Origin's powerful BE-4 engine is more than four years late. The first flight test of the new engine is now expected no earlier than 2022 on the Vulcan rocket. This is a big problem and we need to talk about it. So why is it said that Blue Origin's BE-4 engine manufacturer is a complete fail, whereas SpaceX's Raptor is the leading example of the industry? Let's find out. First, how has BE-4 gone through almost a decade of failure? This was their first engine to combust liquid oxygen and liquefied natural gas propellants. It was initially planned for the engine to be used exclusively on a Blue Origin proprietary launch vehicle, New Glenn, the company's first orbital rocket. However, it was announced in 2014 that the engine would also be used on the United Launch Alliance, the Vulcan Centaur launch vehicle. The successor to the Atlas V launch vehicle, this was labeled a stunner choice the company planned to begin full-scale engine testing in late 2016 and expected to complete the development of the engine in 2017. However, the first engine was not fully assembled until March 2017 also in March, United Launch Alliance indicated that the economic risk of the Blue Origin engine selection option had been retired, but the technical risk on the project would remain until a series of engine firing tests, which were completed later in 2017. A test anomaly occurred on the 13th of May 2017, and Blue Origin reported that they had lost a set of power pack hardware. Blue Origin BE-4 rocket engine powerhead and combustion chamber was the first BE-4 engine to be hot fire tested. The test occurred on the 18th of October in 2017. Finally, in July of 2020, the first Pathfinder BE-4 was delivered to the United Launch Alliance for integration testing with the Vulcan Centaur. In August of 2020, ULA CEO Tori Bruno stated the second test BE-4 would be delivered soon, followed quickly by the first flight qualified ones. However, he noted an ongoing issue with the BE-4 turbo pumps at the time. Blue Origin was still troubleshooting the 75,000 horsepower pumps that bring fuel to the BE-4's main combustion chamber. Bruno said, adding that he was confident the issues would be resolved soon. In October, Bruno stated that the issue was resolved and that the engine was moved into production. But it wasn't, remarkably, by August of 2021. It had become clear, even publicly, that the BE-4 engine program was in trouble. Delays had been accruing in the program for four years, including turbo pump problems, combustion instability, overheating, and shorter-than-planned engine life. In addition, company management issues have left insufficient hardware to build. Development engines leading to extended periods where no testing could be done, as well as issues related to companies. CEO Bob Smith and the distraction of Jeff Bezos himself, thus Blue Origin, has had difficulty getting the engines to run successfully at full power for a full duration burn. The company recently made the risky decision to ship the flight engines, currently not fully assembled, to their customer United Launch Alliance before they have completed full qualification testing, which delivery may still be early 2022 rather than the earlier promised dates. The relationship with ULA has deteriorated in part mostly because Blue tried to renegotiate for a higher price in 2017 than had been agreed to in 2014. The BE-4 delayed development has increasingly been the subject of keen interest. This is partly because ULA has been working on its new Vulcan rocket for a number of years, and that rocket is important to the future of the company. 
The military is also eager for this delivery, as ULA is a primary provider of launch services to the Department of Defense. Alongside SpaceX, they hope Vulcan provides lower-cost launch services. With engines manufactured in the United States, finally many in the space community are genuinely curious about the cause of the delay. Because of the launch services agreement, the USA military contributed $255.5 million towards BE-4 development. Money that comes from taxpayers so the public has the right to know despite this widespread interest. However, Blue Origin has said almost nothing publicly about engine development. But during that time, what has SpaceX done? SpaceX first mentioned the term Raptor in 2009, but SpaceX only had a few staff working on the Raptor upper stage engine. At a low-level priority, they indicated quickly that details on a new SpaceX rocket would be forthcoming in one to three years, and that the large engine was intended for the next-generation launch vehicle. Using multiple of these large engines, that would be expected to launch payload masses of the order of 150 to 200 tons, which is around 330 to 440,000 pounds to low Earth orbit. Exceeding the payload mass capability of the NASA Space Launch System, then, in October of 2013, SpaceX announced that they would be performing methane engine tests of Raptor engine. Components of the John C. Stennis Space Center in Hancock County, Mississippi, and that SpaceX would add equipment to the existing test stand, infrastructure to support liquid methane, and hot gaseous methane. Engine component testing in April of 2014, SpaceX completed the required upgrades and maintenance to the Stennis test stand to prepare for testing of Raptor components and the engine component. The testing program began in earnest, focusing on the development of a robust startup and the shutdown procedures. Finally, SpaceX successfully began development testing of injectors in 2014 and completed a full-power test of full-scale oxygen preburner in 2015. 76 hot-fire tests of the preburner, totaling some 400 seconds of test time, were executed from April to August of 2015. SpaceX completed its planned testing using NASA's status facilities in 2014 and 2015. By early 2016, SpaceX had constructed a new engine test stand at their McGregor test site in Central Texas for Raptor testing by August of 2016. The first integrated Raptor rocket engine manufactured at the SpaceX Hawthorne facility in California was shipped to the McGregor rocket engine test facility in Texas for development. And that's all the information we have for you today. I hope you liked the video. If so, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to see more videos of great space and SpaceX content. Thank you for watching. See you next time.